six years ago, I'm at dinner with two priests from my parish, and Father Ed keeps talking about Stu's story and Stu's journey and who Stu was as a person. And this is a real journey of a real guy that I think can really touch people who may have lost their way. And from that point on, it was my mission to get the movie made. Stuart Long was a boxer from Helena, Montana. He was successful at everything that he had done. He just thought, I'll go to LA and I'll make it. And he realized this is not happening. Hey, did I see you on a television series? You do movies? You don't work in the entertainment industry at all? No, man. He really fell in love with this incredible woman. She introduced him to God. I can't date someone who isn't baptized. I thought you was going to say Hispanic. Where's the water? I'll do it now. Then he had an accident. And he felt like he was touched by God, which was the catalyst for him now being so extremely committed to serving God that he was actually going to dedicate the rest of his life and become a priest. But then in the seminary, he found out that he had a rare genetic disease. As his physicality started to deteriorate, his spirituality started to soar and made his mission to bring hope that much more clear. The way he approached it, embraced it, and realized that this was an opportunity for him to help other people deal with those same things and encourage people to be the best versions of themselves. This is a passion project for me. I wanted to honor Stu's legacy and the courage that he had and the conviction that he had. Stu was a fighter. He was a messenger. He was Father Stu.